Hello and welcome to Cyber Skills Live. My name is Craig and I'm interested in all things tech and security. And you are about to get hands on and learn cyber security skills in this interactive activity. And today you help us solve a puzzle and catch a cyber criminal. A career in cyber security means that you can play a key role in protecting our digital world. In Scotland, for every two jobs in this area, there's only one applicant, so there's a huge opportunity for an interesting career. We need more people with digital skills to help make us more resilient against things like cyber attacks. I'm coming to you today from my own security operations centre. And today, there's hundreds of you joining us and taking part on the live stream. I'm here today with digital detective and puzzle solver extraordinaire, Colton. Hey Colton, how are you? Hey Craig, I'm excited for today's cyber challenge. I'm ready to take down a criminal mastermind. <laughs> there really is a wide range of careers in the cybersecurity industry. Technology skills are really valuable, but it's not just a career for techies. It's a lot more than just sitting behind a computer all day. There are jobs in marketing, digital forensics, legal, project management, and so many more. It goes across all sectors and skills. It really is a career option for everybody. The career we're going to be talking about today, specifically, is working as a crypt analyst. Your teachers can tweet us and let us know how your class is getting on with tracking the criminal today. You can tweet us at digitalworldhq or using the hashtag cyberskillslive. Colton, I'm really excited for this activity today. We've got hundreds of people who are going to be taking part. And if you're answering some of the questions today, you'll be able to send in some of your answers and we'll be able to give you and your school a shout out if you send in the correct answers. So I'm looking forward to that, Colton, as well. Yeah, me too. Today, we are investigating the artful hacker, a skilled art thief, master forger and cunning cyber criminal. Now, we think the Artful Hacker has been sending coded messages to his accomplices around the world by hiding these secret messages inside famous paintings. We need your help. As a cybersecurity analyst and as a patron of the arts, you must crack the criminal's code and help us find the missing masterpieces. So let's get started. What we need you to do is you need to go to cyberskillslive.com and at the very top of the page there's a button that says join the live join the live lesson so you're going to click on that and you're going to start the activity so the best browser to use today would be google chrome or microsoft edge so click join the live lesson yeah thanks craig and everyone just like he said head to cyberskillslive.com and you'll see the link for this live lesson right at the top of the page. So you can click to join. And like Craig mentioned, both Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge will work really well for this lesson. So take a moment to do that. And we're going to then work together to catch a cyber criminal. Right, Colson, are you ready? Let's do this. Yeah, I'm ready. So, on the same night, 12 priceless works of art vanished from museums around the world. And we think the Artful Hacker is behind it. Now, the Artful Hacker is a skilled art thief and a cyber criminal. And we think the Artful Hacker has been sending coded messages to his accomplices around the world, hiding those secret messages inside famous paintings. Cyber criminals are always trying to find new and creative ways to secretly communicate and outsmart the police. One way is using a technique called steganography. This is a way that you can encode messages within seemingly innocent files or images. So steganography comes from the Greek words steganos, which means hidden, and graph, which means to write. So if you put those together, steganography translates to hidden writing. Craig, have you ever used invisible ink? Oh, that, that's definitely a spy gadget. Um, when I was younger, yeah, I used to have a little pen 
what you could do is you could write something on a piece of paper and it was invisible unless you shone a torch on it, a special torch. I think it was a UV light. You could see it. So yeah, I have used invisible ink. Yeah, Craig, I've actually used one of those too. They're good fun. And that's actually an example of steganography because the writing is hidden unless you know how to reveal it. So speaking of steganography, let's take a look at another hidden message. So here's a poem I've been working on. And at first glance, it might appear like a regular poem, but look carefully and you'll see a message hidden inside. It's like a treasure hunt for words. So everyone playing along, see if you can spot the hidden message in the following poem. And once you do, open up the chat box at the bottom right of your screen and let us know that you found the hidden word and what that word is. Yeah, there's a message box at the bottom of your screen that says send message. You click on that and you tell us what the secret word is that Colton has hidden in this poem. So Colton, you are a cryptanalyst, a puzzle solver and a poet as well. I didn't realise that. I'm a man of many talents, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> but my poem skills are just uh, that of a beginner, so. So I can see some of you have already started sending us in these um, messages here. So I'm not going to reveal what the message is, but Lily at Chepstow School, that's correct. Isabel, you've been able to find the words, but you've not told us what the word is. It's okay to tell us, so you can send us a message with that. Who else can you see, Colton? Yeah, I'm seeing a message from uh, Poppy at Dingwall Academy. Uh, you've, you've got it right. Great job. Uh, Liam at Clyde Bank High School. Nice job. You've found the secret word. Good work, everybody. Max as well at Clyde Bank High School. That's brilliant. Dylan as well. You've got it. Glenn finding it as well. Lots of people from Clyde Bank found it quickly as well. Grace from Chepstow School. Thank you very much. Good work, everybody. Here. Yeah, yeah, they 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 certainly have found it. Craig, do you think I should I should let everybody know um, how to find the secret message if yes, they haven't yet? Go on. Yeah, bring bring up your lovely poem again, Colton. Yeah, so if if you're still searching, everybody, um, you'll notice if you look very closely at the first letter, um, in the first word of each line, it actually spells out secret there along the left hand side. So if you haven't seen that yet take a look and if you'd like throw us a message in the chat and we'll see that you solved it. Candice from Fairham Academy and, and the mysterious C from Redwell Primary School and um, thank <laughs> you very much for all these as well we have lots of lots of good answers here. Colton this must be a good sign this must mean that we've got some some people who are good at solving clues that's only going to help us catch this cyber criminal even more. Yeah, I think so, we're just about ready to, to start cracking, aren't we, Craig? Yeah. Now, Colton, the Artful Hacker is a sophisticated cyber criminal. He's not going to rely on invisible ink or poetry. I think he's using a steganography app. So, if you use a special computer algorithm, it's possible to hide secret messages inside seemingly ordinary files. Now, we found a set of images on a USB drive belonging to the Artful Hacker. These are the images of each of the paintings that were stolen. So these are the famous paintings around the world that we think have been stolen by the Artful Hacker and hidden somewhere. Is he using a steganography app to hide a clue to where he's stashing these stolen paintings? Okay, let's use our cybersecurity skills to crack the code and bring this artful villain to justice. To the steganography app, Colton. Yes, Craig, let's do it. So the steganography app works, and you see it on the screen now, by combining the information we want to hide with the file we want to hide it in. So what does all this mean? Let's say we wanted to hide the word crime inside of an image. So what we do first is turn both of the files into binary code. So we would take the word crime and we would turn that into binary code. We would then take the image that we want to hide the word crime in and turn that into binary code. So then the steganography app can combine those two files into one. So essentially we're hiding one 
inside of the other. For example, we showed you an image at the beginning of the live stream, if you were tuned in, and we asked if you could spot the zebra. Craig, did you ever see it? Colton, I was looking at this image for about five minutes. I went right up to my screen. I can't, there is no zebra in that image. I can't see it. There definitely isn't. I've, I've looked closely. Well, Craig, it's funny because you wouldn't actually be able to see a zebra drawn in the image because there isn't one. We actually used steganography to hide the word zebra inside of that image. You're kidding me. Really? I, I, yep, really. And I'm going to show that. everyone just now. Yeah, yeah. So if I if I come into the tool here and okay. what I'm doing right now is choosing the file and everyone's going to get to do this uh, a bit later on. But if I pull up that image of a park that everyone saw mm -hmm. and I click uh, decode, you'll see that there was a hidden message inside of this image. And sure enough, it's the word zebra. What a devious deception, Colton. It is no wonder the Artful Hack got away with it. So now it's you to go to this part of the activity and use the decode tool to find the secret message hidden inside, hidden inside the painting of the iris. And once you've done that, I want you to tell us in the chat what was inside that picture of the iris. Can you maybe show us the part, Colton, that we're talking about here? Yeah, of course. This is the bit right here, everybody. That's great. Colton, could you explain what they're going to do again? Just you can repeat my instructions. Yeah, of course. So if everyone's gotten to the page with the iris on it here, you're going to be able to download this image with the blue button you see here on the screen. And now I'm not going to reveal the hidden image, uh, the hidden message again, like I did uh, for the picture of the park. Yeah, don't but, give it away. Yeah, yeah, I won't give it away, but everyone playing um, in their classrooms or at home, if you can download this image, then decode it using the decode image tool, just like I showed here with the park and the word zebra. At the very bottom of the page, you'll be able to go in and enter the secret message that you found hidden in the image of an iris. So once you've found that, Craig, would you like them to throw that in the chat for us? Yes, I want Give them to send us a, yeah, definitely send us a message. So once you've worked out what's inside the iris, I want you to send us that message. I can see Josh from Clyde Bank High School. You've got the right idea. You're going along the right lines. That's that's the right message. Yeah, Got good a job, few Josh. More people starting to come in now. Uh, Brooke at Dingwall Academy. Uh, nice job. You found it. Uh, let's see, Max at Ferrum Academy, and Glenn at Clyde Bank. Uh, nice job. Well done, McKenna, as well at Dingwall, and Glynn, as well, and Max, as well, from Fairham Academy. Thank you very much. These are all doing a good job at finding this message. Let's give everyone maybe one more minute, Colton, to keep working on this. Yeah, that sounds great. It's important to, to learn to use the tools in practice like this, Colton, before we actually use it on the real evidence. Exactly, yeah, for everyone wondering what what's this got to do with the lesson, uh, I promise you that you're going to become uh, very familiar with the decode image tool once we move into the final challenge of the activity. We've got a few more people here. Well done to Chloe. Well done to R from SDS. You've managed to, to solve that as well. Well done, mysterious R. Um, Matilda as well from Chepstow, well done, you've got that right. Yeah, Daisy at Clyde Bank as well, uh, nice job. Uh, Matilda from Chepstow, nice job, you got it. Uh, Leah from Chepstow as well, wow, everyone's doing such a great job, Craig.
That's brilliant. Okay. Colton, I think we're ready to get ready to catch the artful hacker now. Do you agree? I Shall agree. We, yes. Should we try it? Okay, well, yeah, let's try it. Now that you know how to use the steganography app, we're going to investigate those photos that we found on the suspicious USB drive. Colton, can you demonstrate what we want people to do? Yeah, absolutely, Craig. I feel like I'm making you do all the work today. I'm uh, just like, Colton, do this, run that program. Well, if we have any trouble, I'm going to ask you to show them, Craig. Um, <laughs> So let's see, everyone, now after the Iris page, if you click next, you come to this last bit, which which has the title, Catch the Artful Hacker. Now there's another download images button, as well as a bit of text here. And I'm just gonna read through this so you know exactly what your mission is to catch the artful hacker. So the first thing you're gonna do is click on that blue button, download the images, and they're going to arrive on your computer as a, a, as a zip file. If, if you haven't seen a zip file before, um, you can always ask for help opening it wherever you're playing, but it's just a, a collection of a bunch of files. So once you open the zip file on your computer, you'll see 12 images inside of it. And what you're gonna do is use the decode image tool uh, that you just got some practice with, and you're going to upload every single one of those 12 images one at a time. And each time you upload one, you can click decode and you'll get a, a small secret message. And what we want you to do is write down each of those messages as you go along. And once you have all of them, you should be able to piece together the artful hacker's travel plans and find his final destination. Once you think you've done that, you can come down to the bottom of the page and enter where the artful hacker uh, is going, where you think he's gone. How's that sound, Craig? Yeah, that sounds perfect. I think that as long as we'll give you some time to work through that now, why don't we give you about six or seven minutes? I want you to work through it. First of all, get the messages out, and then can you piece together those clues to work out where the artful hacker is hiding those secret paintings? Yeah, exactly, Craig. And um, once you once you solve it and finish the activity, and you'll know what I mean once you get there, uh, we'll get a message saying uh, your name, your school, and that you solved it. So when we come back, Craig, we'll give a bunch of shout outs to everybody that's, that's Let's do that. the Artful Hacker. So we'll be back in about five minutes and we'll let you concentrate on trying to catch the Artful Hacker. See you shortly.
So I hope everyone's getting on well. I can see here that lots of people are making good progress. And I think Craig had uh, a few shout outs to give actually. Yeah, totally. I, I want to encourage everyone who's taken part today as well. And I know that some of your teachers have been sending us messages. So Mr. Milligan's class at McLaren High School, S4 are already on the case investigating the Artful Hacker. Thank you for taking part. And we've also got a message here from Miss Leach's class as well. Looking forward to catching, your, developing your digital skills and catching the cyber criminal. So well done to group two who are taking part in Miss Leach's class. Um, I can also see that Miss Mutter's class as well is taking part. Um, all, you know, you've, you, Falkirk High School have always been taking part in these before. So I'm glad that you are enjoying it. And, answering and um, finding these clues. Thank you for taking part. Mrs. Hunter has a class from P7 who are taking part today and I can see them all at your laptop working well together in that class. Looking brilliant on these photos as well. And veterans of Cyber Skills Live, Stirling High School, there are 40 S1 and S2 students joining from Stirling today. So if any cyber crime is happening in Sterling, then they're all distracted at the moment playing this game. You've got a good opportunity. Oh. Colton, how are people getting on in general? Can you see people making progress? Yeah, and Craig, actually, um, there's a few schools with students who have gotten all the way through and, and finished. I think we are going to give um, everyone just another minute or two, and then we're going to come on and give some shout outs to those that have completed the activity. Does that sound nice? Yeah, that sounds good. I can see some people have just recently started as well, so don't worry. I think we should give people maybe five more minutes, Colton, as well, because I can see that there's some groups who haven't joined quite as early. So let's let's... We want to make sure the evidence is right before we attempt to catch this criminal code. And so let's give people a few more minutes. I think that's great. We'll see everyone soon. See you soon. Colton, welcome back. Colton, I have been speaking to our inside man, Digital Daniel, behind the scenes, and he's been looking at some of the intelligence that's been submitted to us, and he's actually saying what's happening are people are sending us messages that have just some of the contents of the photos that they decoded, which is brilliant, but that's not what we want. That is just the sort of bits of evidence that we need to gather. What do people need to do, Colton, once they've decoded one photo? Yeah, exactly, Craig. So this is this is great intel. Um, when you have found the secret message inside of a photo, write that down. And that's an important bit because what you're gonna find is that once you decode all of the photos, all 12 of them, you're gonna be left with 12 little bits of information mm -hmm. and the key is that you can combine those bits of information in a way that leads you to a final answer. So everyone who's still 
following along and working towards the final solution, make sure you decode all 12 images and then see if you can put the puzzle together. The Artful Hacker is one of the most cunning cyber criminals we've ever faced. So it's not going to be as simple as just decoding the messages and then sending them as, sending them to us in the chat. See if you can piece together that evidence. Can you work out the connection between all these different bits of evidence? Where is that final destination? Let's give people a few more minutes, Colton, to work through this. Perfect, Craig. Colton, everybody is doing really well. I'm seeing all these answers, all these bits of evidence coming in. This is brilliant. We're closer than ever to catching the artful hacker. Colton, we've been waiting for this moment all this time. Do you think we really could be catching him at this point? I do, Craig. In fact, some of our intelligence is coming in that's led me to believe that uh, several students in several schools have actually caught the artful hacker. That's so, brilliant. Um, yeah. How are we doing in terms of our um, evidence that's been submitted? Let's ask Digital Daniel behind the scenes to, to analyze that evidence for us. Yeah, brilliant. So, so Craig, it looks like McLaren High School, uh, shout out McLaren High School, was the first to catch the Artful Hacker. And that included a, a group of Alex, Fraser, uh, Callum. Well done, McLaren High School. They did that really quickly as well. They 24 sure people already have been able to solve it as well. Well done, McLaren High School as well. I'm just having a look and see. Oh, more than, we've got 27 people now, Colton, completed it. Wow, 28. Caught the hacker. It's 
brilliant. I'm seeing Jake from Farham Academy has, has caught the Eiffel Hacker. Well done, Jake. I can see Julia as well from McLaren High School. Great work there catching the hacker. Josh as well. Well done. We're at 29 now. We're not doing bad. No, not doing bad at all. Everyone, if, if you're still working, um, keep trying to crack it. Keep trying to catch the Eiffel Hacker. We need as many of you to submit the correct intelligence uh, as possible, don't we, Craig? Yeah. Well, we're at 34 now. 34. Oh, wow. Keep going. Uh, Megan at Chepstow School. Um, well done. Good job. Uh, Keely at McLaren High School. Another McLaren High School. Well done. Well done, Keely. Ollie from Fairham Academy. He's struggling a little bit, but uh, keep it up. You know, you're, you're obviously doing well here. You're sending us the messages. You're getting through it. Come on, Ollie. Keep going. We're starting to really go up now. Oh, wow, yeah. 45. Well done, everybody. Uh, a few a few more shouts to give here. Uh, Adam at New Battle High School uh, just caught the Artful Hacker. Uh, well done, Adam. Glenn at Clyde Bank. Uh, well done. Calvin as well at New Battle High School just caught the Artful Hacker. Great job. I can see Jake at Fairham Academy as well. Well done. You caught him as well. It was great. You are starting to solve the puzzles now. I knew we'd catch him eventually. Yeah, I knew it as well. Um, Josh at Sterling High School, um, EM at Redwell Primary School, well done, uh, EM. Oh, the load's coming in, in the now as well, 61, this is brilliant, well done Kai at New Battle High School as well, and Rose from Dingwall Academy, I can see you're on that last step now as well, keep going, this is going really well. Yeah, and Craig, I'm still seeing uh, a few bits of the intel here that are just two destinations with an arrow between them. Okay. Uh, that's that means that you're you're quite close. Uh, just keep decoding all of the images and trying to combine the twelve clues uh, into the uh, yeah. puzzle, if you will, that leads to a final destination. Right, Craig. Yeah, we've got a question here as well. Miss Dean's class at Westonton Primary School are looking for advice on using a zip file. So you may not have seen a zip file before. That's just a, a file that has other files inside it as well. If you're on a Windows machine, then all you're going to do is, I think you would right click on it and say extract file. Is that right, Colton? Yeah, exactly. Depending on which computer type that you're on it could could vary slightly but once you click the blue button that said download images uh, you'll then have to go into the computer uh, in the file manager whatever that looks like and it should be in the downloads folder on your computer that should happen for everybody and once you go in there you should see a zip file that's called uh, usb artwork like you said craig you're just going to want to double click on that or right click on it and it should give you an option to open it. Once everyone does that, then you should just have a folder called USB artwork and inside of there will be 12 images that you can upload to our tool. If you're using an iPad and you're doing this, you don't need to unzip the file. You'll be able to get into that zip file without even, without having to do that. Exactly, Craig. Uh, just while we've been chatting, the, the time's cut has gone all the way up to, wow, we're at 80 now. This is brilliant. It is. I wanted to give a shout out to Sterling High. Uh, several of you just completed the activity all at once. Uh, well done to Eliza. Uh, well done to Evie as well. Great job. This is brilliant. I'm just checking how people are getting on. Who would have thought that the most, you know, the strongest weapon in the cyber criminals outfit was a zip file preventing us from getting in and accessing some of those clues but as soon as we know how to do it we can get in we can get those files miss mutter class s3 done a really good job catching up a hacker i can see your picture you've gotten behind bars that's brilliant and uh, for everyone who's who's completed or if you're still working along to connect this back to what we learned about steganography so the the secret messages that you're finding 
in each of these 12 files. You can't see them just by looking at the image. If you'd like to try, please go ahead. But if you pull up any of these 12 images, you won't see any of the secret messages. And that's the power of steganography. The writing is there, but it's hidden in the pixels of the image. So you can't see it unless you use a steganography app. And that's why the Artful Hacker was was so devious with, with his crime. Absolutely. We've had a few more classes tweet us, Colton. And um, there's a year seven class, Mr. Parapet's class, and the Boolean hooligans have been taking part today and, and tracking the code. Well done to the Boolean hooligans. I like that. Um, we've got a, a lovely picture from the Business Education and Computing Department at Clyde Bank High School. I can see you're all really concentrating while you work through it. That's brilliant. I'm enjoying seeing everyone solve it. Yeah, this is excellent. I think we have lots of oh, good wow. intelligence, Craig. This is going up really, really fast now. Everyone must be starting to solve it at this point. Well, what number can we get to? I wonder if we can reach 200, Craig. Okay. That would be impressive. That would be good. That would be good. How can we? 186. Okay, come on. You've got a couple of more minutes. Let's see how much, how many more people we can get to find. If you've got pals in your class who have not solved it yet, go over to their computer, help them out. Don't take the keyboard and mouse off them, but just show them how they can do it too. We're at 193. Any second now, Craig, we should be at 200. This is great. Yeah, I feel, see a few messages in the chat um, saying that we're stuck. Uh, if anyone is okay. stuck, please send us a quick chat message about what you're what you're stuck on. We can try to give you a quick bit of help. Um, again, if it's the zip files, make sure you head down into the file system of your computer and open that up, and you'll find all the images. Ooh. Who is going to be number 200? Someone's did it. Oh, Colton's. Who, who's our 200 catcher? Can you find them? Yeah, I'm going to scroll and, and wow, we have so much intel here. It looks <laughs> like Kieran, if Farm just caught the artful hacker for the 200th time. Well done, really? Kieran. Well done. And I can see Darren and Maison from Westerton Primary School. You've obviously got on with it. You've done a really good job as well there. And Oscar as well. Jack and Mason, again, working together at Westerton Primary School. You just caught the Artful Hacker as well. This is brilliant. Yeah, well done, everyone. Let's give people maybe one more minute to see how high we can get here. Yeah, you don't reckon we can reach 300, do you, Craig? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. We're at 240. We're not doing too bad. Yeah. If we can get to 300 and then Colton, you can maybe tell us how to solve the puzzle. Yes. Yes. I can absolutely do that. Okay. We're nearly there. Okay, to get this number to go bigger, you're going to need to team up in your class. You're going to need to make sure that no one is left behind. I want you to go over to other people's computers, help make sure everyone in the class, if the teacher's computer's on, they need to be solving it as well. We want to get it as high as possible. We're nearly there, Colton. We're nearly there. And so as some extra incentive, we'll give a shout out to whichever uh, hacker is the 300th to catch them. Won't Let's we, Craig? Millie from Our Ladies uh, Primary School. I, I'm loving this, she says. Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Hope you're also <laughs> solving it as well. Loving it as well. Several messages coming in that the Artful Hacker has cool glasses. I agree, yeah. uh, but he was not quite clever enough for all of you. Not for us. 297, come on, let's go. Yeah, so close. 
298. Come on, there must be two more people. Yeah, 299. Oh. Yes. Ah, uh, 300. Brilliant. There you go, just on cue as well. Yep. <laughs> that that definitely set off an, uh, an alarm. I can hear that. That does that mean we've we've managed to reach the target? Yeah, that yes. means that the artful hacker has been <laughs> brought to justice. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So who who was their three hundredth? Um, wh which school? I think I can find it here actually. It was St. Modin's High School. Well done to you. It was day at St. Modin's High School. Well done to you as well. So Colton, how did they do it? How, how did they catch the cyber criminal? What was the secret to the clues? Yeah, I'm going to pull up the tool again, just so we can show um, what had to happen. So once, once you downloaded the images, then you'd be able to click choose file and again, going into that folder, we can open up some of the different images, which, as you may have noticed, are all famous paintings. And if, if we decode each of them, we get these little bits that are uh, from a starting point to an ending point, and they're different cities. So this one is, is Dublin to Paris, and let me just open up another one. If we decode this one, we see Prague to uh, Santorini. And once you go, th I'm not going to go through all 12 of them here, but if you go through all 12, Craig, and you write those down, uh, you'll notice that it starts and ends with two cities that don't appear anywhere else in the clues. So basically, you can connect the dots, if you will, and find a single journey that goes from a starting city to an end city. And that end city, as a lot of what you found, is Belfast. Belfast, brilliant. That is the correct answer. You want to just prove that there, Colton? Maybe, I don't know. I sure can. We plug in Belfast here, and we check that. Uh, we, we do see that that's correct. Brilliant. You did it. You all helped us crack the code and find the Artful Hacker. Now, you had to do a lot of work to catch him. You learned about steganography and how it's used to hide secret messages in plain sight. Then you used a steganography app to extract those hidden messages from inside the files. Then you pieced together the clues to discover the artful hacker's hiding place. Thank you everyone for being part of our cybersecurity team. You helped us bring the artful hacker to justice. So we're on YouTube today, so make sure that you like this video if you enjoyed it. If you've got it on at the front of your class, go and press like now. And you can subscribe to the channel as well for more of these videos and when we do more of these lessons for future activities. And if you're a teacher, like we've been giving shout outs all the time, you can tweet a photo of your class to us at Digital World HQ and using the hashtag CyberSkillsLive. We've had so much fun today. Why don't you try out some of our other cybersecurity activities? Maybe you want to defend Stirling Castle from a cyber attack. Or maybe now you've got a bit of a taste for crime. What about how to steal a pizza? You can go to our website, cyberskillslive.com. Thank you so much for joining us all today. It's goodbye from Craig. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Bye, everyone. See ya.